We're here because, um, one, as a foundation, one of the thematic areas we chose to support, even before COVID, was uh, health. The other thematic areas of support are uh, environment and um, you know, financial education. So health being key, uh, over the last few years since we established uh, the foundation in 2014, we've crisscrossed the country supporting different health facilities, working with uh, Africa Cancer Foundation as our partners, the Blind Society of Kenya and, and counties. We have um, renovated hospitals, Kenyatta, Kenyatta National Hospital's um, emergency uh, unit, um, basically just renovating it and making it comfortable for um, for uh, providers, for the doctors to or the medics to serve patients. We've uh, also recently uh, renovated um, or rather offered a queue management systems at the Mama Lucy Hospital. Um, queue management systems because there was a lot of chaos before but now it's very orderly as well as uh, offering patient uh, seating areas. Now, um, when COVID broke, what we did as a foundation on behalf of the group, the UP Old Mutual Group, which uh, turns, by the way, 175 years this year, and the Old Mutual Group, uh, 100 years, we were amongst the first corporates to go out and put in some money in government so that they can immediately attend to the needs that uh, cropped up when COVID showed up. Alongside that, uh, we chose um, partnerships as one of our thematic areas because um, we believe in partnership that with partnerships you're able to do more so that's why we uh, chose to work with uh, Gertrude's Children's Hospital amongst others um, we were working with their foundation and today we are here delivering uh, our donations to help uh, protect the the medical teams as they serve, they see patients and uh, also uh, to help support their efforts in testing children. You know, with this new game, that the uh, COVID, COVID uh, issue that's cropped up, children have not been given priority. And we are here today to support this area in Gidogoro, which you know very well is highly populated and um, the standard of living is not high. And uh, therefore support like this will definitely go a long ways to establishing the levels, the incidences of COVID-19. And uh, hopefully there will be less and uh, if there are, then the patients will be treated according to what the medics think. All of us, I think, got a scare when this uh, COVID-19 came. And uh, we know that uh, if our medics are not safe, <laughs> no will be other patients because they've got to be protected first and foremost so that they also protect the patients as they treat them. So for us, it was a conscientious effort, especially um, coming into partnership with the Gertrude Children's Hospital Foundation to, to do this. Health has been one of our key areas to support and we had a program lined up to, to roll out countrywide. But now that COVID is here, we have to attune ourselves to responding to different needs in, in other counties when things open up it's not just Nairobi we've got places and partners we want to work with so the team in the foundation continually continuously review um, the needs in different counties and uh, they will make recommendations to us the trustees and I'm sure budgets for meeting will be there for our people.